Hi everybody, this is video two in the series of getting a flawless face. My very first video, if you didn't watch it yet, was completing the foundation and prepping the skin. So we've already done that and we have our foundation on. So please be sure, if you did not see that video, that you check that out. I will put it right here so you can see how I got the uh, canvas started. And we're gonna move on to blush and how to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. Now, I am not big in contouring because I think a woman, um, and it, again, it's up to you and it's up to maybe an event you're going to and how you feel, but I feel like like over contouring looks in my opinion ridiculous unless you're on a stage now if ever you're in front of cameras or on a stage makeup always has to be applied a little bit heavier so that it with all the lights on you um, that it actually you know shows up and you don't look completely washed out so um, you know anytime I've been on stage you, you know you always have to apply more so then when you see people in person and if you've just been on stage it's like oh my god she's got a lot of makeup on but it's because you're on stage or on camera so um, if you are just looking for your regular daytime looks or even nighttime looks, you can do contouring uh, very lightly just to accent features or to slim down the face. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, like I said, we've already had the foundation on. Watch the video if you didn't see it. I really like to use, and let me pull out my, my stuff here. I really, really love Mark's Amped Up. Uh, this is the Mark Palette Amped Up, and if my mirrors aren't the cleanest. Okay, so this is Amped Up. Um, and it's got a nice shimmer to it. And what I love about this is that I've been using this to help with contouring. So I like to get, um, now you can use smaller brushes. This is one of the Mark brushes from a while ago. I like to take actually in the center, because that's the darkest, and just kind of almost tap my brush into it. And then right here, everybody's like, you know, your cheekbones. So you can just, and you can already see it. So I'm just going to blend. And that's the problem with a lot of people is that they, do the contouring and they don't blend it. So then you end up with this line. So I like to kind of brush it in and just kind of go upwards a little bit here because you want to lift the face. Okay, can you see the difference already? This side, no, this side has a little and there's a little bit of shimmer going on there. So it's not harsh, okay? And everybody's always like, you got good cheekbones already, Lisa, but um, this really does make a difference. So just a little bit and then brush up. Okay, and I should have kept my hair up because this is, there we go, let's put that back there. Okay, so a little bit here under the cheekbone and brush it up and blend because you want it to be natural. You don't want it to look like you've done this. I'm sure you've seen the videos where it's like drawn on and there's dark here and dark and light and I just, I don't subscribe to that. Not to say that it's not good for somebody that's really looking to do a more, um, you know, chiseled look or whatever. And then I do a little bit up here. So these points, so I'm following the same guidelines for contouring. I just don't get crazy with it. Up near the hairline, so you can see it's just a little bit. And I'm gonna get the other side. And again, it's really all about blending. So you wanna leave the center of the forehead a little bit lighter. But see, you want it to stay natural. Now people will do the, the uh, whole chin, jawline there and you know what you can blend down into your neck a little bit don't leave it so whatever and if you want to do your nose you can just now you can use this or you can get an actual eyeshadow brush and do that but the thing with this again you don't want to end up with two lines where it looks like you drew them on so I might do that and you can see that that already did make a little bit of a difference but again I'm not using a um regular brush and all this stuff that I do guys I am not a professional makeup artist I just watched a lot of YouTube videos and I learned from the videos uh, different techniques and you know what makeup is not there's no rules so if if you're not liking a certain look on somebody else um, then you know you don't have to do that you need to do what makes you feel most comfortable okay and so you can see there you go it's very minimal okay it just adds a little bit to the face i don't like to overdo okay so that's just with the bronzer now we don't even have blush or highlight on yet so let's move on to blush now you have many choices with avon on your blush you can use ideal luminous you can use smooth minerals and this one is in the blushing mauve so this is nice because you can tap off and you can get a little bit out this has got a luminous finish so it's nice and then we also have our compacts of the Ideal Flawless. So this is Warm Flush. I should hold it this way. Warm Flush. 
Then you've got darker colors like cranberry. So that's very dark. Um, my rose luster is missing, but I'm going to go ahead and use the, and this is an older one, it's Chick Frills. It's a two part, but it has the pink color I want in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, my brush and I'm gonna kind of concentrate in the center of it. And I'm just going to tap this right here. Let me look at my mirror and move my hair out of the way. So again, I'm on camera, so I've got to put on a little bit more and there's light coming in. So I just want to higher up because people are always like, oh, your cheekbones are so great. But let's say you don't have high cheekbones and you're trying to lift the face, then you do not want to put your blush down here. That's where your highlight, that's where your contour should go. And then your blush should be a little bit higher to lift the cheekbone. So everybody's always like, oh, smile apple of the cheeks, but never get it too close either into here because then it's going to look ruddy and it's not going to give you that brightness. So right up here. And if, hey, again, you make a mistake. I'm not a makeup artist. I make mistakes. Sometimes the blush comes out way too dark and I'm like, what the heck? And you know, that's what's so great is I can take a little translucent powder and I can tone that down uh, with another brush. So it's not a big deal. Now, if you don't feel that's punchy enough or enough color, remember once you do your lips and your eyes, it's gonna punch the color. Um, you can go ahead and do highlighter right here and on the bridge of the nose. Now, there's several ways you can do that, believe it or not. You can use a eyeshadow, which I'm looking for mine. We have a white eyeshadow, this one right here. It is called Champagne. So you can do something like that and just take a flat or fuller brush. This is one we had from years ago. And just tap into it lightly because you don't want to be too sparkly. But if you want to give just a nice highlight here, I don't know if you can see it even showing up, just do right under there. You see it? It's just, it's very slight. You don't want to be like a disco ball. Um, just slight. And that way when the light catches it, okay, and then you can do a little bit down the nose and a little bit on the forehead if you want. Again, if you're super oily, this may not be for you. You already have that nice glow to your skin where you really don't need it. And a lot of people will do also the highlight on the bat, on the bow of their lip right there. And that way when you do your lipstick, um, it kind of pops that. So as you can see, the steps are coming together. We already have now foundation, blush, a little bit of contouring, a little highlight, very natural so you don't feel over made up or that it's really hard. Those diagrams that we see with all the you know, darks and lights and whatever can be a little crazy. So hopefully this makes you feel a little bit more comfortable being able to do it. You can see that it can be an everyday look for you as well. So we're gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, that is the next step. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll go over eyes, brows, and then we'll go over lips. So we'll see you soon. Bye.